midpoint of an interval. Consider the problem of finding the coordinates of the midpoint of the interval AB, where A has coordinates 1, 2 and B has coordinates 5, 8. So let's mark the points A and B on the grid shown here. So B is at 5, 8. We're looking at finding the midpoint of this interval. So halfway between A and B. So it will obviously be on this line. And we can see, you know, because we've got quite simple numbers here and a grid drawn, that the midpoint is happening here at this point here. Uh, what's that? 3, 5. So we want to think about, though, how could we actually work out that the midpoint is at 3, 5. So the first thing I want to think about is the fact that in marking the midpoint we can now create two right angled triangles which are in fact congruent triangles. We can think about why they're congruent triangles. Obviously they're both right angled triangles. Clearly this angle here and this angle here are going to be the same angle since these are parallel lines and they're therefore corresponding angles. Similarly, this angle up here will be the same as this angle here because they are also parallel lines and hence the two green angles are um, corresponding angles. So we clearly have two triangles with the same angles so they're obviously similar triangles but we also know that we're finding the midpoint from A to B, which means that this distance from A to the midpoint must be the same as this distance from B to the midpoint. So given that they have one side of the same length and all their angles the same, um, these must be congruent triangles. So thinking about that, that then also tells us that the other pairs of sides are also the same length. So this horizontal length here is the same as this horizontal length here which means that the x-coordinate of the midpoint is halfway between the x-coordinates of A and B. So if we think about, well, how do we work out the halfway point? So halfway between two numbers will simply be its average or its arithmetic mean. So adding them together and then dividing them by 2 will give us... Uh, sorry, divide by 2, so 1 plus 5 divided by 2 gives us 3, which is indeed the x-coordinate of the midpoint. Similarly, the vertical distances of these triangles are also the same, which means that the y-coordinate of the midpoint is halfway between the y-coordinates of A and B. And again, we can find the halfway point by averaging the two values. So the average of 8 and 2 8 plus 2 divided by 2 is indeed 5. So we have our midpoint with coordinates of 3, 5. So really, the midpoint is going to be the average of the x-coordinates and the average of the y-coordinates. So in this case, that is 1 plus 5 divided by 2 and 2 plus 8 divided by 2. So we have the point 3, 5. So let's think about that a bit more generally. So obviously if we have the points A and B with coordinates x1, y1 and x2, y2 respectively, the midpoint is going to have coordinates that are the average of the coordinates of A and B. So its x-coordinate will be the average of the x-coordinates, so x1 plus x2 dividing by 2, and its y-coordinate will be the average of the y-coordinates, so y1 plus y2 divided by 2. And so we have our generic, oh, sorry, not generic, general formula. So x1 plus x2 divided by 2, and y1 plus y2 divide by 2. So let's have a look at an example. 
find the coordinates of the midpoint, which we'll call M, of the interval AB, where A and B have coordinates negative 2, 6 and 3, negative 7, respectively. So our midpoint has a name in this case, which is M. We know that we're going to need to average the x-coordinates of A and B to find the x-coordinate of M. So that's going to be negative 2 plus 3 over 2. So we're finding the halfway point between negative 2 and 3. And similarly, the y-coordinate of the midpoint will be the average of the y-coordinates of A and B. So 6 plus negative 7 divided by 2. So we'll have the point 1 over 2. And 6 plus negative 7 is 6 minus 7. So negative 1 over 2. In the second example, we are given the midpoint and asked to find one of the endpoints of the interval. So the midpoint of the interval AB, where A has coordinates 4, 7 and the coordinates of B are unknown, is 3 on 2, negative 2. So we're told about the midpoint. So again, it's not a new formula, it's the same thing. We already know that midpoint, oops, apologies, we already know that midpoint is average of x-coordinates, average of y-coordinates. So in this case, we know the midpoint. It is 3 on 2, negative 2. So if we average the x-coordinates of our two endpoints, we're going to be the unknown x-coordinate plus 4 divided by 2, and averaging the y-coordinate, we'll have the unknown y-coordinate plus 7 divided by 2. And we need these coordinates to be the same as 3 on 2, negative 2. So that means that this x-coordinate has to be equal to 3 on 2. So x plus 4 over 2 has to equal 3 on 2. We can solve for x, multiplying both sides by 2 and subtracting 1 from both sides, sorry, subtracting 4 from both sides. Similarly, this y coordinate of the midpoint must equal negative 2. So y plus 7 over 2 has to equal negative 2. So y plus 7 equals negative 4. So y equals negative 11. And so therefore, B has coordinates negative 1, negative 11. And you should be able to check. Is the midpoint of negative 1, negative 11 and 4, 7, 3 on 2, negative 2?